A large part of the destiny of Great Britain and the British people has been shaped by the fishing tradition, which is more than ever alive today, carried on by young fishermen like Ted Lawson. A trip back in time to a much simpler age. The British Council releases film for the 1930s and 40s, giving us a rare glimpse of what life was like back then, from a picture of wartime fishermen to their wives. While the men are drying out the nets, their wives are hanging out the washing. A woman's work is never done. The shopping is part of the morning's routine. A time of clearly defined gender roles. Vegetables are plentiful in the village. They are grown in the surrounding fields, which are very fertile and run right down to the edge of the sea. Walk through any English market town and you'll find the inn at the center of its life. So life apparently just like in the films of the time and not original accent in sight, certainly not in the narration. Off parade, Sandhurst cadets wear their own distinctive off-duty dress. A portrait of a nation drawn into war. The government's final warning to Hitler has been ignored and a state of war once more exists between Great Britain and Germany. Only 25 minutes after war has been declared comes the first air raid warning. And coming out the other side. The people of Britain adapted themselves to the new conditions and set about winning the war with that cheerfulness which never fails them in emergency. A land lost in time.